Hey, how's it going? I'm Robert Sachs, Spartan XGX coach, and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to get over the eight foot wall. This one in particular is eight feet, three inches high. And of course, if you were six, four, six, five, chances are that you can probably jump up to the top and climb your way up. However, most people are not. So I'm gonna give you a couple of ways to actually get over it. For someone that's six foot four, six foot five or so, of course, it's very easy to just jump up and hit the top. As a matter of fact, if you're a good jumper, you may even be able to do it uh, even if you're a little, maybe like six feet, feet tall. I'm 5'9", I struggle, but I can actually jump up to straight to the top if I really want to. But during the race, chances are that I won't make it. So I have to use other techniques. Now, if you just jump up to the top, then you climb yourself back, you know, back up with your feet. Now, today what we're gonna do is go over other techniques that you should use. First of all, you're gonna charge towards the wall, like you're just gonna run through it, but actually think about climbing up that wall. Don't hesitate when you get close to it. I see this a lot of times that people go up to the wall and then they, they, they change their footing or something and it slows them down incredibly. Just charge towards the wall. The idea is that you use this footing to propel you up towards the top of the wall. So you're basically climbing up the wall slightly. All right? So it looks something like this. towards the middle of the wall looking at, at it from here. You're gonna be looking at the top of the wall as you charge towards the wall. Third thing, extend your arms all the way out to grab the top of the wall. Don't try to reach it like this, because you, you, you won't make it. All the way out, and worst case scenario that you hit the wall, this is gonna protect your face, because your arms are gonna be in front of you. But you wanna reach out with both and grab the top. In some cases, only one hand can will end up getting the top and you can still climb up, but preferably you get, get a hold of both, uh, both hands on the top of the wall. Once you grab the top, don't hesitate, don't take too long, because the longer you stay there, the, the, the weaker you'll get really fast. So you want to climb with your feet, bring yourself up, climb your feet up to the wall, and as soon as you can, get that leg over the top, um, wrap your body around the wall, and on the way down, just climb your way down. That's the safest way. Uh, there's other ways to do it. If you're an elite racer, you can actually jump all the way up and actually get your foot on top and then jump down. I don't recommend jumping down unless you're used to doing a lot of plyometrics because it can be uh, risky with your ankles or, or knees on the fall. So you can climb your way down on the other end and uh, as I showed you on the video. So to go over it again, there's three basic techniques is jumping up to the top, muscling it up to go over the, over the wall. Second, you charge towards the wall with your feet, reach up and jump up to the wall, climb, climb yourself with your feet and over. And the third technique is you do the same, you say the same thing, you charge towards the wall. Once you grab the top, you walk sideways with your legs over the wall. On the other side, the same thing applies as far as it coming down. If you're an elite, uh, racer that you're used to jumping and that height is fine for you then you can jump down from that height otherwise just climb it down 
it only takes a few seconds and to, being, to me I think it's worth it just climbing it down. There's too many other obstacles to worry about. Visualization works. I have some clients that I tell them, think of yourself as Batman or Catwoman, and somehow it gets her superhero in, and they just do it. So if that helps, by all means. hope you'll be able to use some of the tips in this video on your next race and tackle those walls. Don't forget to look up saxfitness.com as well as Sax Fitness on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. I list a lot of videos like this one, instructional videos as well as other workout videos with my clients. And good luck in your next race. Haru!